Yo, what is everybody? I just got done doing my chops update and noticed that we have a tornado warning uh, for North D Lands, West D Land, the uh, just D Land, Florida. That is uh, on the more east uh, coast of the peninsula. Rotation does look to be weakening, but does not mean it can re-strengthen. I mean, it doesn't doesn't mean it can't restrengthen. Sorry about that. Uh, as far as debris signature goes, let me have a look at correlation coefficient. That was not correlation coefficient. There. Uh, I can't see anything defined on correlation coefficient. Uh, one reason is because of its distance from other radar sites. Don't think this radar is going to do me anything better. No. Um, but we still also have a uh, some massive hail over near Panama City uh, on the Florida Panhandle. I'll show you all that. Uh, so on tilt one, it doesn't look too crazy, but when you move up like tilt three. Or actually, it's going to take about tilt four. If not, I'm going to switch to a farther radar site. Uh, we'll probably do. You know what? That looks like a hook echo. Let me. Let me see if that's got anything on it. Not really. Uh, let's actually look at velocity while we have it close up. So, gusty winds in this storm. I'm not sure if they're still severe, but let's look at re reflectivity. So there was some thick hail. It, well, I'm not sure about size, but it, there was a lot of it. Uh, let's actually see. Let's see what um, the. I wonder if this has it actually, uh, where I can see the hail size. I can't remember if this hybrid hydrometer classification. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it doesn't go out as far. Okay, we're going to go back to the tornado warning uh, near Deltona, Florida. That. It says large hail there. I don't, I don't really think that's too accurate. Uh, rotation is still there. Uh, a nice weak couplet. It's very tight, but it's on the weaker side. It was uh, a bit stronger, but. Here, let me turn my volume down so you cannot hear the fan nearly as much. I hope you can still hear me fine like this. Hopefully we don't get a debris signature on this or anything. <clears throat> but I'm kind of positive it is on the ground, but I'm not sure if it's going through too much of a re residential area. Uh, it's just based off the radar, that's where the warning came from. It's not confirmed. It's not spotted. 
and it's not radar confirmed. Still correlation coefficient is not showing anything at all. Um, I will probably come back uh, in a couple minutes to check on it. It's weakened a good bit actually in the last scan. Still rotating at the higher levels though. I mean, it's still it's still rotating on the lower levels, but not as strong. So. Let's see if that severe thunderstorm warning still out on the panhandle. Say the storm's weakening. I think it's expanding a little bit. It's got a nice outfield boundary, so that should keep it. That should keep it in shape. That storm is weakening in total as far as rainfall and rotation goes uh, it's not as tight anymore but it is still there let's look at tilt 2 and 3 nobody cares I, I hope you care uh, still at tilt 2 has it rotating uh, relatively tight but uh, on the ground or lower levels it's rotating but not nearly as strong and not nearly as tight uh, probably tornado if it was on the ground it's not on the ground now it's probably lifted of the tornado they won't they won't figure out the severity of the tornado until it is over till the storm passes and it may take up to a uh, month sometime like they'll have a report out in a month um, typically if there was any damage reports called in they'll go out and survey and then they'll find the um, the severity or the rating of the tornado based on the damage they found uh, but you could even get um, like the uh, severity as you call it or the intensity could change years later if they find something new or you know like uh, for example I know Hurricane Michael I know it's a hurricane different thing but the uh, they actually upgraded it to a category 5 after it made a landfall based off other evidence so similar thing there but uh, on radar it looks on the weaker side now it was showing uh, it was showing what is that like 75 mile per hour winds uh, heading what would that be heading south um, but as of now it's just it's rotating but very weak uh, let's actually look at tilt one. So let's take a look back over to the panhandle uh, severe storm. See how it's doing. Still gusty winds as velocity proves, but uh, heavy rain for sure. Let's take a look at tilt floor. Probably very small piece size hail at this point, but uh, definitely heavy rain. There's another one over by Tallahassee. Uh, that's got a nice outward boundary on it. Um, 
that one could go severe. Waiting for the next scans to come in. Uh, still now on the weaker side and loose rotating side. Do apologize for the super loud fan. I'm going to eventually get that problem fixed. Okay, uh, scan should be coming in any minute now uh, on that. Should update any second. Still, this storm remains uh, severe. Uh, I don't think they're going to extend the severe warning on, uh, on the Panama City storm personally, but they might. The outflow boundary from these storms are likely going to spark way more storms this afternoon, or not this afternoon necessarily, but later uh, as it moves across the land. Let's see, they should have a new update out now. It's actually thundering outside at my house right now. I just heard it. Uh, yeah, definitely way rotter rotation. Um, they might not extend the warning on this. If they don't, then uh, the stream will end. But if it comes back, the stream will start again. So, yeah, I've, I know a good bit about. Uh, radar and I've been using it a while so yeah I'm actually in the Florida Panhandle right now I'm not ever by this warning area but I'm uh, in Molina right here I'm in this area very far western Panhandle area but I'm uh, if you're new I mostly cover uh, the south but if there's a uh, worse enough severe weather across the US I'll cover it or if I just have time I will but I mostly cover weather from I would say this area but again, if I have time, then I can do the entire U.S. if it's significant enough. And it looks like they, they did not extend the warning on the uh, D-Land storm. Uh, that warning has expired. Now, as soon as this warning expires, then I will be ending the stream. But again, if uh, anything fires back up, I will be back streaming again. So, But overall, the storm has reached uh, about 45 decibels all the way. In the main area, there's some areas that have like 50 decibels, but it's now on the weaker side. Except to the south of it, it still remains pretty strong. Uh, but we still have the severe warning over in Paradeball City area. That I don't think 
Let's see. Actually, let's see uh, how more. Did they extend it? I think they did extend it. It says it expires in 41 minutes, but um, the storm doesn't necessarily look in the severe limits at the moment. I wonder what the tops are on the sword. Um, using weather weather lab on my phone, I'm gonna go check to see how high the storm is. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's around four. 52,000 feet from the Panama City radar, uh, 53,800 from uh, Tallahassee's radar, and it is 58,300 from the Mobile radar. You're east of Florida. Okay, so you're in the Easter eastern side of it okay uh, let's go back to tilt one towards the ground level more that summer thunderstorms heading towards me right now Hopefully it will give me some good lightning videos to take that I can post. Gained two subscribers from this short stream, so much appreciated. Um, let's check back in with our rotating storm, uh, see how it's doing. <clears throat> Four viewers, nice. Uh, rotation has died off as you can see very very broad uh, we still remain with the severe warning in the Florida pin handle uh, I do expect these two for this warning to expire uh, soon so we have a very nice storm over by Tallahassee switch over to that radar site right now it looks like it's actually dying in the last hands or I might be looking at the rear flank down draft or what tries to be the rear flank um, let's see how these storms are doing uh, right in, in uh, what is that Gainesville area yeah those storms look pretty nice there. I would not be surprised if we could get some rotation on this end of uh, the storm there. That's a pretty nice circle. I just drew for a keyboard or a computer mouse. Uh, but I could. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the storm does gain some rotation. It will be right in that area. Oops. So she woke up here with some very strong storms. I'm surprised those aren't severe. And sorry, by the way, my nose is really stuffy right now. So. Yeah. 
know, those are some nice storms up there in, uh, you know, Georgia and Carolinas. Let's take a look at velocity. A little bit of rotation on those two. I'm surprised this is not severe one right in here. They probably will put a warning out for that area, or they may not, but. We'll see. So like they have modified this warning here just a little bit. Um, still doesn't seem to be in the severe limits right now, but of course they are the National Weather Service. They know more than I. Do. They know more than I know. So, but personally, I, I don't see anything in the severe, severe limits right now. But they could be getting reports from the ground of severe winds, so they probably have way more data than I'm looking at at the moment. Um, but I feel like this is going to be our next uh, severe thunderstorm warning here. We have a couple of warnings up in Kentucky. Yep, that's Kentucky. Uh, but. I'd rather cover the more localized ones first. Let's look at velocity. So yeah, I'll just uh, have the loop going on uh, this storm for now until a new warning gets issued or until no warnings are issued and then the stream will cut off. So uh, again, if you're new, like if you enjoy the uh, stream, subscribe if you like what I do. And if you want updates, turn on the uh, notifications. I'm doing a tropical update at 2.30 uh, tomorrow. I did one today at 2.30. Um, also could be doing one at 9 or 10 o'clock tonight so if you're interested in that then uh, subscribe and put on the notifications Okay, I'll check to see if uh, any new warnings are issued. Oh yeah, we also have special marine warnings out for east coast areas of uh, the Florida Peninsula. Very strong thunderstorms there. Let's read uh, if these are for water spouts or wind gusts. Uh, the more south southern one that affects uh, coastal areas of Melbourne, or sorry, coastal areas of. Uh, Brewer County, uh, voters are at risk of 35 mile per hour uh, wind gusts or higher. As well as the northern one is for uh, water spouts and 34 mile per hour winds or, uh, or higher. And lightning as well as heavy downpours. Um, 
And this is also for northern Brewer, Brewer County uh, coastal areas. Um, still remain the Panama City um, severe thunderstorm warning, which is heading towards uh, Uwachikita. Wait, <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Uh, we we wah hit. We, we will hit you. I don't know. I probably said it right the first time. I don't know. Uh, also heading for Bluntstown area. But they're just going to get the uh, back side of it, which shouldn't be too bad. As far as lightning goes, it could be worse. But up in Chipley looks pretty strong too. Not Chipley, uh, Campbellton. Uh, super as velocity. Eh. Heavy rain, probably lightning, plenty of lightning in it, uh, but no severe, uh, severe worthy, worthy winds there. Um, check back at Gainesville. See how those storms are going. Uh, looks like we could have a little bit of rotation on these. Um, they have a little bit of hooks there. Super res velocity. Um, yeah, there could be little areas of rotation developing. Uh, as we get closer to the east of Florida, that seems to be the trend. Uh, there's a little area of greater shear there to spit off some uh, tornadoes or so. If these were more isolated, they'd probably have tornado warnings. Uh, there are a little many supercells. Wow, that is some heavy rain up there. I'm very surprised these are not severe ward. Yeah, I, I think we're going to get a severe warning out for this area. Possibly this area, too. Who knows, we could even get one for up here. Uh, these are developing, so. I will check back with them in a little bit, see if they get warned or not. And, uh... And uh, we'll just focus on this one that's worn. Again, this warning is for uh, what did I just do? Huh, it's not giving me uh, anything about the warning for some reason. I'm probably going to have to switch over to um, actually, this warning has expired. Uh, I don't know why it's still there, but it has expired. It'll probably be gone in the next refresh. Um, but that is no longer a severe warning. I'll give it five minutes for another uh, severe warning or tornado warning to uh, come out in the stream will end. Uh, but again, it will be back if there's another warning or so. But um, there's likely going to be a new warning in. Uh, I'm going to say I'm watching all the way through here for a new warning. That's where it will probably be in that area. So. And as you can see, the severe warning by. Y'all hear that thunder? Um, again, what I was saying is. That warning is not gone near Panama City. Um, don't think it's going to come back to life. So, I 
And Mobile actually now has some thunderstorms popping off just south of it. We need to look at super res velocity and we need to go to tilt 4. Uh, actually, can't see it quite yet on tilt 4, but that looks to be about all severe weather at the moment, so uh, maybe back in a couple minutes or later if there's another severe thunderstorm warning within the south area you know within here somewhere uh so